Hello and welcome to Butts to Nuts. Hello and welcome to Butts to Nuts. Hello uh, or uh, just say the fucking intro. Fuck! Hello and welcome to Butts to Nuts, a movie review podcast hosted by me, Curly Charlesworth, and my brother Scott Charlesworth. Scott, how you going, bro? I don't feel. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Oh man, that is that that is too complicated to explain. Hello and welcome to Butts to Nuts, a movie review podcast hosted by me, Ben Charlesworth, and my brother Scott Charlesworth. Yeah! 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 Oh my god. god. Hey, hey Scott, S- Scott. How you feeling after the movie? Oh, oh catchphrase um oh people. Oh hey Scott. Yeah. How did you feel after the movie? What movie did we watch today? Oh we didn't watch a movie. This is Buds to Nuts, a year in review. 2022, we're the reviewing it. Nug Awards. Nug Awards. Ah. Um before we get into this, Scott. I think oh, okay. we need to use this time as a contents. You know, you open up a book and you have your contents. Yes, yeah. Now, probably future Scott and Ben with episodes will put timestamps. We're not going to do that because we got jobs. We do. Uh, do we? No, we're we? both unemployed. <laughs> but one day we will. We will have okay? jobs. And yes. that's not the point. The point is we feel that we're busy. So putting timestamps in will be hard. So what I want you to do is say each thing that's coming up because there's five big segments of our end of year, year in review show. Yeah. And I want you to tell me what time you think that will be at. And that's the official time. So people oh, skip shit. to the time that Scott tells you. Uh, I reckon, I reckon. For, the first, for the first thing. No, no, no. I reckon oh, you know. I know. The schedule. I'm putting the foot down. This is a very, very exciting podcast because you know, it is our last one for the year. Of 2022, our first year on the podcast circuit. Yeah. Wow. It's been fantastic. What one a ride year around been. the sun. Ah, ah, so silly. You corny motherfucker. We, we have a few things planned for this podcast. Uh, a couple of side little adventures, I I do dare say. A few side quests, a few Easter eggs. Before the uh, the grand finale mm. of the year, where we kind of have a, a final look back on the greatest, the worst, and the greatest in our eyes movies. But we will explain that more and give more details on that later. I think uh, this is one for the fans, you know, your Claire Terridge's, your Cooper Wilson's. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, one for the fans. Your Jackson Reddits. <laughs> I don't think he listens. <laughs> <laughs> You're just juices. You're just juices. Yes, now, we're dr- we are drinking just juices in celebration because we are very festive and recording this on Boxing Day. Yes. So... Um, we usually drink waters, mm. but now we're drinking just juices. And I think as well, a little shout out, because we are doing <coughs> this in an air con. Um, most in, of in the a year, air con, you said? In an air con? Yes, in an air con Inside unit, an, which, an is which, which is odd. Which is very odd. strange. It is odd. Whereas most of the year, we were doing it in our back room with no air con. So a big shout out to the air con, who's going to carry us through for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> yep. Another There's going to be a lot of clapping in this podcast. Another person I want to thank just before we get into this is um, this microphone. Oi, aren't you glad that you chose the mic over the stick? We should do some more mic, mic over reviews. the stick. What do you mean, mic over the stick? Remember when we did the mic review? Oh, that meme that we did that yeah. was funny. It we got all that sick traction. Oh, so so much traction. Yes. We, yeah. should, we should do another mic review. We really should. Hey, 2023, we'll now, do another mic review. At the end of promise. 2022, we're, uh, we're thinking of doing a little bit of a quick fire, look over some of the movies that we covered this mm-hmm. year. Now, we do have a nice, juicy list right here that we can uh, read from. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah, just yeah. pass it over to Ben well, Richard uh, Charles. Aren't we doing 
aren't you giving the listeners a contents first of timestamps? A contents of timestamp. Oh yes. So I'm just gonna tell tell us what's on in stall stall for the show. Okay. All right. So first of all, at five minutes, yeah. we're going to have quick fire. Movie lookovers. Look over at the year that was of the movies that we watched for this podcast. Exactly. To nuts. Oh, it's going to be so horny. You're going to cream. Wow, that's at five minutes. I can't believe it. And at six minutes. Wow, that's only going to go for a minute. Yep, that's right. Oh, this uh, is quick. We have, I wrote it down, movies that we'll maybe do next year. So that's a look into movies, movies that, that we'll, we'll maybe, maybe do, do next, next year. year. At 7 minutes and 37 seconds, we will have last minute score changes. Ooh. Cheeky little look at the year. You know, sometimes we do a score and we walk away from the podcast and we say, I don't know if I'm happy with that. Was that really the one? We have a maximum of three changes. Three changes that you can do. And um, I'm sure that would be interesting for some. And then finally, finally, after that, at 35 minutes. <laughs> okay, wow. Uh, we're going to be doing we're score gonna be changes for so long. For like 20 something minutes. Mm-hmm. We have the Nug Awards. And those awards are the juiciest nug Mm -hmm. which is our personal choice our favorite movie for both of us Mm -hmm. individually yep separate the stinkiest nug which is the mathematically (laughs) disgusting lowest score and then we have the golden nug which is the mathematically higher score a piece of resistance yep a juicy big oh it's not juicy no golden it's golden it's golden it's bloody golden. I'm going to give you three three things that happened this year, just in the entertainment sphere, and then we'll get into it. You're such an entertainer, aren't you? Because we are movies. This year, <laughs> did you remember that infamous slap from the Oscars? What? Wow. wow. We covered that. I don't think that. anyone forgot that. I think you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and how crazy was it? What, wasn't oh, it crazy? It was insane, man. That was like... Um, Willis Smithus. Um, Bruce Willis smacked Ricky Gervais. In the face. Wow. That and was crazy, There's man. blood. Yeah. Then, Don't talk about my wife like that, you silly man. Hey, man, stop it. And then he went up and patted him on the bond. It was good. Johnny Depp v. Amber Heard was oh, this year. I did kind of forget and about Johnny that Depp briefly. Johnny Depp won with, with $50 million or something. Crazy, crazy shit. I think she won like two million. People were bidding one. on that. Yeah, they were going hard. There was that "Don't worry, darling" um, controversy no, that we actually did. We come did look on. into that drama a little bit. Yeah, that was that to was do fantastic. with like Harry Styles and um, uh, what's her name who directed that? Olivia Wilde, mm. and they were like having a little do. Yeah, a little doodle. And then Florence Pugh was like, "Oh God, uh, you guys are annoying to work with, and I don't like you." Olivia Wilde's like, "Oh my God, Harry." And Harry's like, "Yeah, yeah. I wear big collared shirts." <laughs> Um, running up that hill was big this year because of a stranger thing. That's right. That's a TV show, so that's lame because it's not a movie. What are you doing, Ben? Oh shit. You shouldn't be doing that. Um That's that's secret. What about uh um Val Kilmer? He returned for the Top Very Gun Maverick. Brief. Oh, Top Gun was this Top year. Top Gun too. Maverick was this year. Got a billion dollars. One of like three movies that got billion dollars. Not wow. many this year compared to some years. This was the year that movies kind of broke through, didn't they? They kind of broke out of that COVID sort of clutch. Yeah. You know, they were chained down and they got out of their restraints. Out of the COVID dominatrix and broke free. Shaking their... Their movie titties. Their castrated penis. Uh, uh, Yes. freed into the wild. Grew it back in all its glory. But, yep. Uh, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez got back. (laughs) Did they? Together. I don't fucking care about that. And most importantly, (laughs) uh, the biggest movie of the year came out this year. Oh, yeah? Which one? Metal Lords. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which we review. Which we review. Yeah, yeah. Which you can go listen to our review. So that is a little <laughs> that's a little entertainment sweep before we get into our movie chat. It's quick fire time, baby. Oh 
Oh my god, it's time we talk about the movies we watched this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not yeah. everyone, because that's what we just did, and we're like, oh shit, that was 15 minutes of us talking about movies we just did. That was probably really boring, so we're gonna like... Do it again. Rapid fire. We're gonna go crazy, crazy, crazy till we see the sun. I oh. just want to highlight a few <laughs> things. I want to highlight a few things. All right, you silly boy. You, you are one D fan. What's that? What, what's the brand that does the highlighters that we like? Oh, um, Office Work. No, no, Dead no! Off. You stupid boy. Bostic. Where well, they make their Bostics blue glue. Uh, they, but they skip out on the E and they write blue. No, no. B-L-U. It's the one that starts with the S. Oh, um, Shell. <laughs> I don't know, Scholastic? Well, just say, the, the, the high, you're a highlighter. You're a highlighter pen. I am. I always have oh, been. Oh, yeah. I've only got like three or four movies that I really want to jump back to. Yeah. Just have a little chat. Oh, so hot. Toy Stories this year. Oh, Bro, 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 bro. A trip down memory lane, and really, it was it was passion. It was nothing but passion. It was a great franchise. Not, not a sexual passion, but a a nostalgic passion. That was the biggest franchise that we did this year. Yeah. That was a fiver. That was a bit of a test, wasn't it? To see how... I don't know, because like, like, we did a lot of those back-to-back. That was, a, that was back-to-back weeks of back-to-back Toy Story. Back-to-back weeks, there. yeah. Yeah, that and was we said pretty intense. If we did a franchise now, we'd probably watch it differently. We'd just do it all in one hit and then release the episode. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But like, yeah, man, oh, Toy Story is just such a good franchise, dude. I'm so happy we started on that. It's, it just, it's one of those movies or like collections of movies that just suck you in and go, man, I'm a kid again. Yeah, hundred oh. percent. The trilogy. Was where the was. trilogy, not the other two that came after. Yeah, well, one's yeah. a spin-off. And the other one's just mid. Yeah. Toy Story 4 shouldn't exist. I think we concluded that in our review. If yeah. If we didn't, we're saying it now. Toy Story 4, sorry, did I say 2 just then? You said 2. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. Somebody Cut it me. out. No, cut that. Oh, I, I, meant to to say, I meant to say 4. <laughs> Toy Story 4. <laughs> you silly doofus. Yeah. Cut to the one that everyone no, thinks is the I'm best. I'm leaving it in there. I'm leaving it in there. You've you've tainted your reputation. There's and no keep back four. from that now. Four's the best. <laughs> oh, <sighs> well, yeah. anyway, what else? what else? What do you want to highlight, Scott? Mate, the first one. The first episode we did, Battle Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. That was such a weird ep- Such a weird movie to start off with. And it wasn't the... I've, we've said this before, but... Not everyone's going to have listen to the episodes that we explain this in, but we did a couple of test episodes before it. Mm. And, yeah, that were fucking so shit. How many? Two? No, three. We, three. Had, we did three. Yeah, we did three. It was an episode zero as well. We, Epi- we, we don't talk about that one. Episode zero, and then there was two <laughs> yeah. um, planned episodes to get released that we never did. Well, we said, fucking no way, they're not going out there. They're no. staying in here. No, they weren't good at right all. Right in my little uh, kangaroo pouch, you know, like a little joey uh, hanging out. The oldest movie we watched this year was Day of the Triffids, 1962. Ooh, yeah. Um, and that was a banger too. It was a banger. It was a fun movie. If Okay. People, people, if you have not l- watched Day of the Triffids, I want you to sit down right now, take your clothes off, get comfortable, uh, yep. get someone to get your water because you're going to need to drink a lot through this, because yeah. those plants are going to suck that water up, I say. Yeah, suck it dry. They're yeah. going to dig their roots in and get all those nutrients out of your body. Uh, yeah, that's true. No, that was, it was good. It Co- was good. A couple of international movies before we wrap this up as well. Dose. Dose. Platform. platform. Double world. Double world. Yeah, um, no, we should do more. Bat- we should do more international films next year for sure. Yeah, only I three think. out of forty-six is a little measly. It is pretty measly, but, but it's hard to build an audience. Yeah, yeah, no one knows, yeah, knows no. these movies. No, but people do. do. They That's do true. know yeah. these movies. We want to get all those sweet, sweet international listeners. Yeah, because we're greedy and we we'll talk about ourselves. I'm happy with the little collection that we've done this year, man. I, I'm I'm happy with all these. Choices we've made. Good variety. Good variety. Few franchises, few big hitters. A couple few of un- really cooked choices as well, like Metallica. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> Some right. Some kind of monster. Yeah, it's a good, it's yeah. good variety. A good well, mix. Like, you know what? Maybe we could we can segue into movies we want to do next year, right now. Right now. All okay. Right. Well, Easy. One thing. This is a more of like a category sort of thing, but I want to do more documentaries next year. This is the next one. This is the next segment. This is the next segment. Look at the timestamp. Six minutes. Yep. Um. <laughs> all right. You want to do more docos next yeah, year? Yeah, like, like Icarus or something, or like some David Attenboroughs or some more music shit. My octopus teacher. Octopus. O- octopus. I, I said that wrong. What is this? It's meant to be like a really emotional thing. Is it about an octopus that's a teacher? That's just, no. It's this guy like he, Octo Dad, that he, PlayStation no, video game. No, no, <laughs> and he goes diving and he learns like emotions from this octopus. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And it's rated G. <gasps> I don't know if we've watched any G rated. No, things. we haven't. Unless an animated movie has been G. You're a G. Yeah, I'm a G. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, a few more international movies I think next year would be good as well. Absolutely. What's a genre that you really want to like dig your little paws into? Um, I mean, I always like watching more horror just because... Yeah! yeah. You, you know, you and I aren't the biggest horror dudes. Well, especially so. me. Uh, yeah, okay. You yeah. know that you're not the biggest <laughs> horror dude. Yeah. Because you're a little scared bitch. I am. I'll uh, admit that. I don't know. I'll take it on the chin. But I think a few more jump scary horrors. No, not just laughably bad horrors as well, but some proper. We need to get into some like The Ring sort of stuff, or or uh... I actually I I want to do uh, either Saw, yep, or um, Human Centipede. Oh, some fuck, some stuff. fuck stuff. After yeah. dose, you want to get some more of that. We we need that kind of edgy side. I reckon. I I reckon it'd be really fun to dive into that sort of stuff. Yeah, that is true. I guess that's also diving into franchises. I did mention this to you. Would love to do in Indiana Jones next year. I think we should because number five's. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. smack the mic! Oh damn! No, number five. Rowdy. Number five's coming out next year. We could do the first four in the lead up. Yeah. Maybe take a week break and then go number five. Whatever. Do a similar thing we did with Toy Story this year. I think that'd be pretty mad. It's quite sexy. Oppenheimer's coming out next year. Uh, Christopher Nolan. Oh my God. Maybe we could do some more Crispy Nolans. I love a Crispy Nolan. Don't uh, think we've done one Crispy. No. Barbie's coming out on the same day though. Oh, that's going to be a, a choice. Yeah. Well, that's a moral dilemma. Do we get drunk with the boys and watch Barbie or do we... Uh, Sniff Coke and go watch Open Eye. <laughs> Real Coke. Real not co- CGI Coke. We drink Coke. We apparently they did a real nuclear bomb for that movie. Yeah, well like he uh he somehow managed to buy one or make one. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christopher Nolan, of course he did. <laughs> he just definitely did it in Ohio. He's like, Oh yes, um I actually want a nuclear bomb for this uh movie. I'm going to blow up uh, all oh, of yes. Ohio. Yes, yes. I'm going to make it really unintelligible ah. so you can't actually hear what is Yar, going on. I'm Christopher Nolan. Yar, I'm, yar, me heart I is. got he. Go to the you bar, lady. Laddie. Start up the car. Yar. Oh, hello. I'm Christopher Nolan. <laughs> ah, I'm going to blow up the world. Ah, uh, <laughs> you're fucked. Uh, John Wick 4 comes out next year. Zinger. Maybe we could jump into that franchise, but I feel like they're all coming out in that same period, so we might get a bit bombarded. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. What about some Stanley Kubrick stuff? That could be fun. Yeah, directors. Let's talk Ooh. about some... Uh, Scorsese, man. We haven't touched on any Tarantinos. I want to do as well some Ryan Johnson. Oh, well, I want to talk Ryan. about... Looper. Brick. Yeah. Maybe some Knives Out. Oh. Not You've got Star- my skin crawling, not man. Star Wars The Last Jedi. No. Nah. I'm warning you right now. We're not doing Star Wars next Fuck year. Fuck that shit. 2024, though. Yeah. Maybe. Western? What about some Westerns? Yeah. Yeehaw? we definitely got to get into some big franchises. I think Indiana Jones would be good. Oh, yes. Indeed. Junior. Some, some more niche shit would be good as well. Yeah. Kung Fu Panda. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Kung Fu Panda's pretty niche. It's yeah. pretty small. That's an international movie as well. Yeah. Well, you know what, Ben? All this talk about movies that I want to do makes me want to also look back on some things throughout the year. Okay. I, I want to look back on a couple of little snippies from the year. Well, hang on a minute. Hang on. 
Um, oh, do you still have things? Let's reenact it right now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, hey, Scott, bro. Crazy time, yo. Oh, dude, bro, that movie was crazy, yo. We just watched Sinbad, yo. My my ass is, like, so sweaty from that movie, yo. Oh, we just pranked you losers. Yeah. Here's the real snippet of our year in review. We're looking back. Snippet. Go, Scott. Woo! Post, boy. Hi there. I'm Ben Charlesworth, but you can call me Ben Richard for short. Here's a few things about me. I move like this, dance like this, and sometimes I watch movies like this. <sighs> Hi, my name's Scott. And that's it. So today we watched... <laughs> there is no movie out there. Not one. That's cool. That makes you feel like this. Exactly. I'd say that there's not another one called The Truman Show either. Yeah, that's true. Men. <laughs> Like, he's, he jokes around, but he's not supposed to be a goof. Oh. 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 Damn, my, my balls oh, no. just went Bloody into hell, my talking throat. about kids. Look at this little boy, eh? <laughs> hey. Oh, fuck me. A couple of hairs are sprouting on your chin. Oh, You're getting big. shut up, you doofus. That's rough, man. Damn. Rest in peace, OG Andy. Like, old texture shaved, slim shady style boy. <laughs> To be fair, I would definitely sign some of the same things she signed. Like, I don't want my... I don't want clamps. Yep. Yeah. I don't want fisting. Oh, my God. It's so wholesome. Oh, I'm going to watch Darling, this with the babes. Get another bottle of Shiraz. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're about to kiss. Oh. Or a, uh, a donation. A, a dildo. Yeah. That is an odd Hub spot for a dildo. <laughs> In the way, yeah. Something in the way. Oh, those snippets! Wow, Scott, we couldn't hear them. You twit. Ah, oh. you gotta put them in in post. That's. <laughs> Anyway, your skin's looking fantastic, Ben. As I just said, I'm glowing. You're glowing a bit. Oh, thanks. No, you're not. Um, Fuck. Uh, here's the time <laughs> where where we felt awkward and indecisive, <sighs> and we get one last chance to change a few of our movies. Maximum of three out of forty six. So that means forty three movies will be unchanged. <sighs> Think wisely, boy. Think wisely. Hey, I'm just gonna put it out there. I don't have any scores to change this year. Oh. I had a look through the scores, man. I, oh. I'm happy. Oh. I'm happy with shit. Oh. 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 It's up, just up to you, oh, That's rather boring because I have three. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, are they? That makes me look like I can't make up my mind. Oh, you naughty oh. boy, you. Oh, no. Yo, but, you know what? I'm going to come I'm gonna come over and like do this to you. Well, I might not change all of them then because you've only got... No, don't feel peer pressured. I am. Follow your heart, I will. you dirty Let's cunt. Let's see how I go. Let's see how I go. Let's see how I go. Okay. Well, the first one that really needs to get changed ah. is 2012 film. It was episode 19. We did End of Watch. We're in the middle of the Toy Story run. We've mentioned that a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, we needed a break. We watched End of Watch. Oh, yeah. Stupidly, and I love this film, and you hear that in this podcast. Oh, man, you rave about it. But for some reason, I gave it a 6.5. That was really oft off kilter for you I, 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 as soon as he said it and we ended the episode I was like hmm I think Ben's made a mistake yeah from what I was saying I was enjoying it and then I made the excuse something like oh you know the uh, found footage doesn't always work for me it yeah. worked in this movie it, it really does and uh, yeah I yeah. had COVID about a week ago watching Project X <sighs> That's a beautiful found footage film. It is. It really is. And it just got me thinking about End of Watch, still getting those old feelings back, and I can't leave it at 6.5. So I'm officially, and this could be too crazy, got to upgrade it by an entire nug. Yeah! To 7.5. That is official. My end score for End of Watch is 7.5. I did that movie too dirty. Quick spoiler, Michael Pena didn't deserve to die for me to give it a 6.5. Jake Gyllenhaal, you're a beautiful man, and you look great hairless. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sorry for screaming in the mic like that. That wow. was wild. That was beautiful. Dude, that was... Wow. Good. Congratulations. Thank you. I had to, I've been meaning <gasps> to get that off my chest since episode <sighs> 19. You're free. You're free now. Fucking free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, mate. I'm looking through the scores. What? You can't have no changes. I don't think I do. All right, what about you gave home a seven? No, you I really didn't. It was a zero. I gave don't home a zero. Change you the score. Idiot. No, don't change the score. Don't throw me under the, the bus. Score. You, you, you gave naked DreamWorks leopard you. home a seven. Why? No, get out of here. Why? The 2015 movie. I will tackle you <laughs> over this table. I don't care about the microphone. Are you sure you don't want to change that from maybe to a zero? Ben is lying. You it was a zero. It was always a zero. You gave it a seven. I am looking at the score right now. You we have the liar. same sheet. You fucking liar. Don't swear. No, I will say what I want. Oh, don't you fucking swear. <laughs> No, that's silly, Scott. You're silly. Don't throw me under the bus like this. You're just trying to make yourself look good. I'm not trying to make myself look good. You're a silly boy. <laughs> All right. Um, my second change of the year. Oh, okay. No, no drum roll. Don't, don't do I'm it not, now. It's I'm, past. I'm not drumming for this. There's a movie that came out this year that we saw in cinemas. Yeah. We saw a few it. in cinemas. What is it? Um, well, it's not Swiss Army Man, Scott, because that came out in 2016. It's oh. 2022. Wake up to yourself. No, will. Don't worry, darling. Oh. Okay. What did you give that? I gave it a 5.5. It looks like there's white you out did? on the thing, though. Yes. That's, have I changed it already there before? Are, you did change it. From a 6. I had it as a 6. It looks like the old score is. Oh no, no, that's the um, outline from the score behind there it. There is white the out there. Why is there white out? Wow. And you gave it a 4. I gave it a 4. I stick by a 4. Yeah, well... I- you know what? Actually, Don't Worry Darling was going to be the one that I was going to change as well. To? Don't remember. Because that was what I thought of after watching it. But then don't worry. looking at it post-watching it now, mm. 4 sits with me well. Yeah. I feel very confident in that score. Yeah. Um, I've seen this movie twice. Yeah. Once for the podcast, and then unfortunately, my mate and I were at a cinema, and he's like, "Oh, I really want to see this," and I didn't, for some reason, tell him that I'd seen the movie. I was oh. like, "Oh, okay, I reckon it would be good." You idiot! And we saw it. It was terrible. That movie scarred me. Uh, I'm dropping it by a nug to four point five. Fair enough. Um, I can't have it sitting on the positive side yeah. at all. No, the movie had no plot. Um, he he really enjoyed it, my stupid. mate, but he was also high, so I don't trust his critique. <laughs> I hated it the second time, and it just had so many plot holes. It was dumb. It was just it's the, dumb. It, it was stupid. It was just the Matrix. It was silly. It was literally just the Matrix. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't think you can have no changes. No changes I don't. at all. I, I'm, I'm confident in everything this year. Confident in everything. Yes, abs- you can quiz me on any movie and I'll not change it. Any movie at all? Any. Um, but you, you gave Fatal Attraction a three. How come? I did not, you liar. No, I'm looking I gave at it, it an right eight. And you gave it a three. You stupid the boy. Six cents, a five. How come a five? I gave that a nine. I'm looking at it a five right now. Okay, what's your third? Avatar The Way of Water, you gave a ten. No, how <laughs> come? You gave it a six, you cut. Why? Why a ten? <laughs> Stop it. I can't remember my last one. You Are can't... you sure you, you... That's you. That's me. Yeah. I feel like I want to change Dose from a four, but I'm not going to because it's funny. <laughs> but I gave that movie a four. I gave two tens out. Nah, that's it. That's I'm it. done. Two changes for Ben. Official. Shake a- on it. End of watch is is a nug higher. Don't worry, darling. A nug, nug lower. lower. Scott, no changes. And the deal set. We're shaking on it. Scott, no changes. Scott, <laughs> no friends. All right. Oh. The next segment. Well, this is time. It's time. For, uh, what, what's the time for? <laughs> <laughs> I was just expecting some Halo music to come in there. Oh, to, oh. Maybe we can put something underneath right oh, now. We need, maybe we can like find some free sound Gregorian chants or something. Oh. No, 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 no. We'll let, we'll let the post do that. We'll let it do it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Okay. It is time for the Nug Awards. Yeah! Cut that. (laughs) (laughs) 
Right, we have three ways to to judge our our nugs. We have a juiciest nug, which is Scott and I. We already explained it. Oh yeah, we did. We explained it. Oh, all right. Jesus Christ! I want to know. Save what? Pardon. (laughs) What was your juiciest nug, my boy? What was your? And this is regardless of score that we gave it. It can be the one movie that stuck out the most to us. It could have a really low score, but we're like, hey, fuck it. This deserves the juiciest nug. Mm-hmm. I don't appreciate that you're blowing your fart over me. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Smell it, bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, yo, bitch. No, <laughs> I think I would give it to Truman Show for how much I've thought about it. Yeah. However... Maybe that's impacted me the most that I've talked about the most this year is Midsummer. Yes, I oh, good have choice. Not stopped talking about that movie to my mates, to you. I've not stopped thinking about it. You, um, you go. Oh man, that's literally Midsummer. I'm butterflying a chicken the other day, and I'm thinking about a certain scene. Yeah, um, we do like that scene. Doing too. LSD, and I'm thinking about a certain scene. I'm basically joining a cult. And I'm, you know, it's basically me. Florence Pugh is literally me. <laughs> so <laughs> it re- that really did impact you. I can see all of the things that have changed about you. Yeah. You've never been the same. I've never been the same. And you never will be. I never will be, no. That movie has truly marked a, a serious spot onto my life. Wow. I gave it an eight. I'll stand by that as well. Yeah. Um, it could do higher, but, you know, it's, it's a bit generous to just keep throwing higher scores at it. I, I really um, respect that. And you know what? For another artsy sort of way, for okay. my juiciest nug, I I chose Swiss Army Man as oh, my one. And two, that was a recommendation eight, from Claire, our friend Claire. We'll get her on the podcast. Get her on the podcast. Next year. But that was fantastic, that movie. I that's, that's the same thing. Like, that has stuck with me, and specifically, like, the soundtrack of that movie has mm. stuck with me. Thinking, I have spent nights listening to Paul Dano sing. Yeah. I've spent nights just sitting in my room, cold and alone in the winter. Okay. Looking at the wall, listening to Paul Dano's sweet, sweet voice. Whilst you slowly masturbate. (laughs) And sob. (laughs) Just slightly cry. Cry, wink. (laughs) Why is it oh, no, going you're, you're, right for me? You're crying in a cappella. Sorry. Shit. It's all good. Ben, that was very stinky. Yeah. What, my fart or my comments? Your comments. All right. Kiss me. Don't. That's incestuous. I. Fuck. All right. Shall we move on to our next award? The stinkiest nug of the year. Now, this is tr- uh, purely. Not truly, purely based on a mathematical equation that Scott and I spent months coming up with. Yeah, this is true. This is our two lowest scores combined. Uh, a few <laughs> honourable mentions, or maybe just one, is Fifty Shades, Shades of, of Grey with Curtis McGarity. Uh, Came very close. Full disclaimer as well, the guest score does not <coughs> count for the end of um, year thing because Curtis gave it a three. We both gave it one and 1.5. Yeah, yeah. The stinkiest movie. Oh, she's a stinker. We give the stinkiest nug to 2015's Home. Yeah, get fucked! I believe that this has it even more now after talking to my mates and they said that this movie gives them nostalgia and they like it. Are you serious? Yes. I'm not singling out all my mates, just some of them said it. No. Yes. You might have the chance to throw them out. I right might now. need new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I might need new, new friends. friends. Famous quote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like that was stupid and that movie was terrible. And that was the, it is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. And the fact that we saw it in the cinemas years ago still haunts me to this day seen it twice never again we've watched it for the podcast that's it that's I'm it. done for life finished finished rihanna get fucked my children are never seeing it um, and if they enjoy it they're up for adoption <laughs> <laughs> get fucked <laughs> they're out of here and it's odd because it includes australia yeah 
Yeah. And that's the whole point of the last bit of the plot of that movie. Yeah. Australia, they just chuck them in the fucking desert. Yeah. They're yeah. like, hey, here but, you go. Here you go. Just have some, have, have some sun. Stinky shit. Wow. That's what it is. Go home. Yeah, well, how about you go away, you, you stupid boob? You, you showed them, didn't you? Yeah, I you, did. You did, yeah. Thank you you, very you much. really showed yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ben, that really brought me low, but I think I need a high. Okay. I think I need a high. I, I, Do you need more cocaine before we go see Oppenheimer? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so a little bit of golden nugs for you right now. The top award. Our highest honour for 2022 out of all 46 movies we've seen. Us two boys on this one podcast. We did it together. What is the top movie, Scott? The top movie for 2022 on Butts to Nuts is... Hosted by... (laughs) Ben and and Scob. Yep. And sometimes Curtis. And sometimes Curtis. (laughs) Is Toy Story. Yeah. yeah. From 1982. A, what? A <laughs> classic. A classic. A modern classic. Not really modern. Are you having a stroke? Possibly. <laughs> I'm happy for this one. You know, I still really wish my boy Truman Show got up there a little bit higher. Could have. But, you know, the maths don't lie. The maths don't lie. We've got it. The mouth don't stop. The mouth don't stop. Yep. We keep chirping on. We do. The golden nug goes to Toy Story, our highest honour, and a beautiful film. I'm happy with that. Absolutely well deserved. And, man, I'm feeling a little tear run down my eye right now. How come? Because it's so emotional. Because you know it's the end of the podcast. Forever. And we've... End of 2022. And, and, and the end of us. <laughs> as we know it. I want to go play some Call of Duty now. Well, um, <laughs> I feel like it's been a wonderful year. It has. Um, thank you, Andy. Thank you, Buzz. Thank you, Woody. Oh, you know what? Not to not to be stereotypical or anything, but I just want to say thank you very much to every single person who's listened. Genuinely. Yes. Because it's been fucking beautiful. You know, we haven't made a, a That's, big but, mark on this world. And it doesn't matter that it's not massive. I feel like we've made a good mark on this world. I'm happy that people are enjoying it. For the few people that are, yeah, it's very, it's very heartwarming. And I'm proud of what we've done. Oh, I'm proud of you, brother. I'm proud. I'm of bloody you proud too. of you. It's uh, this episode may have been a bit corny, a bit drawn out, but we wanted to do it. <sighs> we had to. A big recap of the year, and we'll be back for 2023 in the first week. We're not taking a break. Yeah, no, nah. we're just going straight hell for leather. And uh. Big things ahead, Wild hogs next week. Lots of changes. <laughs> <laughs> wild hogs next week. <laughs> Should we? Should we fucking watch wild hogs? Oh, God. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Watch wild hogs <laughs> next week to kick off 2023. Big changes. See you. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. This is the end of the episode. Thank you for listening to the Butts to Nuts podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast and want to support us, you can do any number of these three things. Number one. Tell a friend, a family member, or even a random person off the street to listen to our podcast. Number two. Leave a review. The higher the better. Number three. Follow and support us on our social media platforms, being Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all with the usernames Butts to Nuts. Again, thank you for listening. See you next week.